Today's video is sponsored by Acorn TV. Hey Greens, welcome to the episode I call Things I Do That I Have No Business Doing But I Do It Because I Love To Learn But Also I Like To Annoy Karen Previously, we've done tattooing for the first time, piercing for the first time, and yes, even minor surgery. Today, more specifically, we're going to learn how to... <clears throat> pick locks for the first time. As a little grain, I've always seen in movies how different thieves and rogues would pick locks simply by using a hairpin. Hey, do you have a hairpin? Why, yes I do. Look, here's a hairpin. Here's a lock. Oh, it's open now. And sometimes I've even seen shows where they used stethoscopes. You said nothing. I didn't know this was a DIY stethoscope. <laughs> Yeah, hang on. There we go. And in the movies, they basically just there we go use these so that they can listen to locks and be like, oh, I can decipher the number. Ooh, I hear a click. So I want to try that too. Does this work? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's too loud. Ow. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to one of you grains, Kai Entist, who gave me this idea. So let's get to find out who our enemy is. By the way, for those of you new to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, click on all notifications while you're there because this makes you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. And we enjoy sharp pointy things being waved at us. Look at that. And oh, oh, look, sprinkles just came out of it. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Maybe I should stop waving it. Both the kits that I got are from Amazon, which makes this even more interesting because we have kits that are going to teach us how to pick locks. And the first lock that we're going to learn how to pick is absolutely transparent. I'm getting very excited because we can see through this lock. Let's try with the key and see exactly. Look at that. We can see the springs move. You see here, the springs move up and down and then twist and it opens. It opens. There you go. <laughs> And we close it. Again, let's see that. So the springs, this is a little choppy, but we can see each spring move up and down as the key comes up. This is gonna be very interesting. And with the kit, we also seem to get this pouch that has all the tools for lock picking. I can't say how many times I've locked myself outside of the house. So let me know in the comment section below, have you ever locked yourself out? I'm very curious what was the situation because for me, I was actually locked in the house because I didn't have my keys on me and Pat left the house with both my keys and his keys and then locked all the doors. There was no way for me to be able to get out and then lock the door back in. Does that make sense? What? Yeah, probably does. All right. Oh my God. That's a lot of different lock picks. So if we have to know, oh, tweezers. <laughs> What is this? Okay, so we have tweezery things. Now we have like 17 different type of picky things. So this is very interesting and very intimidating. Which then I wonder, how do you get just enough for a hairpin to open a lock? We're gonna find that, we're gonna test it. We're gonna try and unlock with a hairpin at the end. But I believe first we need to learn the basics. So let's just move it. I feel like some of you are going to say, But Jackie, opening a lock like this isn't like picking a lock to get back into your house. Don't worry, I have you covered. Because this kit, this one here actually shows us how to unlock house locks to get into our own homes. Karens, don't come at me. I am not promoting pop picking home locks. I'm just saying if you're trapped outside of your own house, Karen, just stop. I don't have a manager. I am my own manager. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see the locks that we get. What's this one? Okay, so this is a basic home lock, I think. So here's a lock, but it's not transparent. Oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're gonna get to see also how these things work in more detail so that we can, you know, pick the lock. Let's see what it's like with keys. All right, so the springs are down here. We can see a little bit of them here at the top and it's really hard to see them move, but you can see them move right there. I'm gonna make sure that we do keep each key with each um, one so we don't mess it up. Next, what are you? Oh, so we have a double-ended kind of lock, I guess. And again, we can remove this and see how it works. Where's our key? All right, and oh, this is a really rough key. Does this not wanna go in? How about this side? Okay, there we go. So we can see the entire mechanism dancing up and down. 
I'm actually really invested into this because I want to know how do we get these to be opened. This is very exciting. I hope you're as excited as I am to learn how to open locks. I think this one is the same as the one we have. Yep. So we have this over here. Same thing. So we will not worry too much about that one. We might try it to see if it's very different, but we'll try. Ooh, and we get a little fancy pouch. And I'm guessing this fancy pouch basically also has... Oh, I like these tools better. They just seem friendlier. You know, when you want to be in a good mood when you're picking your own lock to get back home. Some of your grains are probably rightfully asking. But Jackie, how will you pick a lock if there's nobody to teach you? I'm glad you're very concerned because we are not left alone. One of these kids actually sent a tutorial video. So, much like we did the minor surgery with a tutorial video, I have high hopes on this. So, let's go ahead and see what they're gonna teach us. Amazon, I'm very grateful that you let me have these opportunities. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm really hoping that we're getting detailed instructions such as what Dr. Mario did. And yes, his name was Dr. Mario, as some of you pointed out, just like the video game, Dr. Mario. All right, and I love how they're called orc gear, but it's a mountain. This is a lost opportunity to have put an orc because you know, orcs can be easily defeated. No, 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 right, okay, let's just watch it. Oh no, this is only music. No, I wanted a real instructor. Ah, ah. I can tell this is just music because when it starts with just music and next thing we're gonna have is just text on screen. Let's see. Yep, just text on screen. Okay, not fun, but let's go ahead and get the gist of it. All right, so our goal is to make sure that the pins are aligned. So we're gonna start with a torque wrench and then a hook pick. So there's different kinds of hook picks and they don't really seem to explain what situations for what. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, so we're gonna just try and see how we can move the pins. Interesting. Now we insert the torque sideways. Okay, that's it? Just sideways? Doesn't go all the way in. Okay, then we get the hook. And the idea is go in one by one. Oh, and then we should feel a click on each one and then it opens. Okay, I think I understand. Okay, so it was this thing here. So we have this hook thing and then... You said nothing. So it seems like these are the ones we're supposed to use, but first things first, they say to just go ahead. And as we can see, these are all unaligned. Our goal is to get them aligned so that we hear the click. Let's try this one here, just to kind of have an idea of how things push up. Oh, okay. For a second. Oh, I'm grabbing two at the same time. This is very, very short distances. You can mess up very easily. Oh my God, I'm not getting the third one. <laughs> the there you go. Let me try and get the first one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Maybe this isn't the right one. Let's take something a little smaller, like that one. Okay, let's go. Where am I? Where am I? Navigating holes is not easy. No, nope, no, I did not just say that. I know what I said. It's not what I meant. <laughs> okay, let's try that one. That one might be better. Okay, so let's get in into the hole. Okay, there. Let's try the second. This is much more difficult than I expected. Okay, this is not leaning towards any sides. Look, we have rods and holes that we need to go into. Stop being immature, get your minds out of the gutter, and just cooperate with me here. <laughs> okay, so this is good. I feel like the first one was probably easier. There we go. And just to show you grains, yes, this is locked. So let's go ahead and put the crowbar looking thing, this. So we just push that in there, like so. Pretend it's like here. Okay, as we go, we should get a little click. <laughs> How is this working? This isn't working. What? What? Okay, let me watch the tutorial a few more times because this is not making sense to me. I'll get back to you. Who would have known picking locks was so hard? That's why there's locksmiths, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I think the biggest issue is I wasn't putting any pressure towards the let's unlock position for the wrench thing. That might be the thing that changes everything. Okay, so let's try. Come on. I've never struggled to do this before. I've always been good at putting keys into the locks. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna apply a light pressure towards the opening and let's go ahead and we're gonna move. Oh, there we go. Why am I having such a hard time getting in there? Okay, let's try this again without this guy. Okay, yeah, you see I can get all the way to the back. Okay, let's try this again. I got this, I got this. Why is this so hard? I mean, it's definitely a good thing that this is difficult. So it's not that I'm complaining that this is hard. It's just I'm complaining that I'm having a hard time getting to it. Let's go ahead. Oh, okay, I'm on the third one. So I have to go all the way in. 
Okay, I'm there. There we are, okay. Oh, <gasps> did it work? Did it? Hang on. Did I break it? No, I reset it. <laughs> I was close. I was really close. Okay, let's try this again. This is in there. Light pressure. So the idea is going all the way in. So let's get all the way in before we start moving things. This is really tough. It really has a lot to do with what angle you bring it in because I'm struggling here. Maybe I'm pushing too much. Okay, here. Okay, so I put too much pressure on the wrench thing right here, which made it really hard to get in. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure. That last one really doesn't wanna move. Oh, no, it fell. <laughs> oh, my fingers, they cramp it. Oh. oh, I need to hydrate, give me a second. Oh, this is hard. You know what? Maybe I need my glasses. Okay, I'm gonna get fancy. I'm gonna see it now. Let's try it again. All right, listen, I feel like the tools are working against me because this is actually slightly leaning towards one side. So I feel here, you can see it better this way. So I feel like that's probably not working in my favor. And this one here is a little on the flimsy side. I don't know if flexibility is an important thing in picking locks, but I'm going to try this kit over here because we're getting solid metal pieces. This is not bending as easily as the other one. So I'm gonna use this one from the other kit. All right, so we're gonna use this one, right? Yeah, and we have a light pressure towards the outside and we're gonna use this one. So this one is pretty straightforward, so it should be fairly easy to get in there, I believe. Oh, yeah, it's harder to get past the third one for some reason. There we go. Okay, I loosened the tension on this one. Okay, let's go. Let's go, come on. It's that last one, dosh darn 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 nabbit. Okay, so here we go. Oh, oh, <gasps> we did it. Oh my God, oh my cramps. <laughs> this was so stressful. I think I stopped breathing legitimately. I was like, oh, okay, this is fun. Let's try this again and see how much quicker I can get this. Okay, let's get back out, close that and try again. So from what I understand is the idea is to know when to release and push the tension on the bottom one down here and basically just trying to get all of these up and then get the tension going more and more with that. So right now, no tension at the bottom, getting all the way in. Look at me doing a tutorial on how to pick locks. Getting all the way, oh, oh, no, 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 take it out. No, dexterity. I got this, I'm not joking, okay? I had it once, which means I should have it all the time. Okay, here we go. Get in there. Okay, we're all the way in. Twist, twist. Yes! <gasps> yes! Record time best pick locker ever. Pick locker. <laughs> English. Mm, pièce de résistance. Mm, English, I have it for bien fist, huh? <laughs> oh, I feel powerful. <laughs> I know how this feels now. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one last time with this lock before moving on to the other ones just to gain the confidence. So again, just putting this in there, no pressure whatsoever, just kind of holding it there, bringing the tool in, going all the way in, bringing it up, turning the key as we're going. Yeah, see we're turning. There you go, yes! <laughs> So the idea is try to get these little handle things, those little springs, as high up as possible. Then you start turning and then it has no choice but to stay in that position. And then it clicks open. Okay, I'm feeling very confident. Now let's go ahead and try it with this thing on. We're gonna hide so I can't see what I'm doing. The keys are right here. So it's locked in place. Oh! Why am I dropping things today? Are you putting that energy on me? I know it's funny. I know it was ha ha at first, but I need you to stop doing it, please. Before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor, Acorn TV. But Jackie, what is Acorn TV? Ah, I am glad you asked. Acorn TV is the largest commercial-free British streaming service where you'll find premium international content for the fraction of the price of other competitors starting at only about $5.99 a month. It's really refreshing to see an inventory of shows and movies that I've never heard of, especially considering most of us have probably watched almost everything out there, <laughs> especially this last year. So on Acorn TV, you are sure to find something that is binge-worthy for you, especially they post new content every week. And yes, it is available for your TV or all your Android or Apple devices. 
So whether it's your Google Chromecast, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and more, you can get into shows that are basically mystery or drama, and yes, even comedy. <laughs> And since I started watching on Acorn TV, I've been falling in love with the show called My Life is Murder. You're going to recognize that the main star in here is, yes, none other than Xena. Real name, Lucy Lawless. And in this Mystery of the Week series, Lucy Lawless, who acts as Alexa, has unique skills and insights in order to unravel the truth behind the most baffling of crimes. And it has a mixture of intrigue and humor, which I really appreciate. And if you're wondering, yes, Renee O'Connor does make an appearance in the last episode. So if you're looking for something new and refreshing to watch, why not check acorn.tv and use the promo code NERDYCRAFTER for a 30-day free trial. If you're a binger like me, those 30 days can go pretty far. Just a little note, the promo code is case sensitive. Thank you Acorn TV for sponsoring today's video. Let's keep going. Now I can't see anything, you can't see anything. Let's see how long it takes for me to open it. We're gonna have a timer going. So I have this, let me hold this in place. All right, so we're gonna go in. Okay, I'm all the way in. Bring everything up. Turn. No, not quite. Oh, no! Don't no worry, I got this. I got this, I'm trying. Okay, no pressure, no pressure at first. Okay, we go all the way in. Okay, I think I feel everything. And now, come on. Oh, this is tough. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I even in the right direction? Oh, no! <laughs> I think I need to see it. This is another one. Let's see if this one reacts the same way. Okay, yeah, so I was I was properly all the way in. I think I just need to bring everything back up. Let me just try it. Okay, all the way in. Twist, loosen, all the way up. Gosh, my fingers are hurting so bad. This one's tough. Let's go back to the one we know, that one. Try this one again. Okay, so we're all the way in. Bring it all the way, ah, dang it! <laughs> I really need a better technique for this one. Okay. There. All the way in, push up, twist. Did I lose my mojo? I think I did. Oh, wow. The finger really cramps. Okay, hear me out. I'm not making excuses, but I think that this lock is broken, perhaps? The reason I say that is even when I bring everything to the top, you can see that some of the springs are a little off, like the second to last. So I'm not sure. This is the first one we did, and it's not the same key, just in case you're wondering. Look, okay, so it's definitely different locks. Let me do this one again. See, all the way in, bring everything up, and there, voila. This, I basically got it, because I evened them out, turned it, and it's fine. This one, I'm having a hard time evening them out. Send me the good energy. Just go blah, 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 just go blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Okay, let's try and even those out again. Just need y'all to be aligned. Please. 20 minutes later. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I need to just open it. Let's remove one of the keys. There we go. Let's get this going. Oh, they have to be that low? Okay. Okay, I have an idea now. This is not easy. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna keep this around here just so that I don't forget which one's which. I think my issue is I'm trying to bring them all too high up. Let's see, a little lower. Oh, 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 yes! <laughs> yes! This, without visuals, I don't think I can do this. I know they say with experience, you'll learn that there's a little click going on as you're keeping the pressure, but holy crap, we got it. Let's try to get the other ones, and then we're gonna try it without visuals and see if I've actually improved. I wonder if I can break into my own home, if I get good enough. Part of me is tempted, but the other part of me thinks like if, if I'm able to do it, I'm gonna give myself anxiety because that means anyone can do it. So maybe I don't want to know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I've practiced off camera just a little bit to have an idea what this is going to look like, or feel like rather. So I've been trying to do this while looking away. So here it is with the actual whole gimmick on there. So I'm gonna go ahead, move these things around and just kind of get a feel, oh! I knew I got it! <laughs> I heard the little click and I was like, oh, I got it, yes! And it took me less than 35 seconds, I think. But you grains will see the timer. Okay, excellent. This is the one we're used to. Let's go ahead and switch to the quote unquote harder one because now I'm gaining that confidence. 
put that in here. So the idea is not to push it all the way up. It's just to push it all the way in until the last one and then start putting pressure on this and just kind of wiggling. By the way, this is, this is locked. Just so you grains can see it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, my fingers are cramping so much. This is tough. The second one is really tough. One eternity later. Oh, did I get it? I thought I did. No, I think I had it and then I let go. Dang it. I'm sure you grains heard that click. Let's hear that again. All right, I genuinely just want to give up on this one because it is so much harder than the first one that we tried. But let's try this lock, which is basically a one-way lock. So if we look here, oh, why is this just, is this broken? <laughs> the key doesn't, oh, there you go. Wait, what? Okay, this is locked. Okay, there. And this, is this open? And it's still locked. Wait, what? I don't get this lock. Let's try the other one. <laughs> Because if I don't know if it's open or closed, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Okay, so this is basically a house key. So you unlock the door like so. Can't take the key out. <laughs> no. So I'm guessing the point would be for me to turn the lock around. All right, let's do this. And at this point, we can't turn the house key open and close. So this is basically the outside of someone's home. All right, so let's get in there. Okay, there we go. Are we all the way in? Here we are. These are very loosey-goosey. They don't move very well. So again, this doesn't move that center black thing. So we really have to try and get those all the way in. So let's go ahead and move. All right, so I don't think this one is a good one. Let's see if that one does. No, maybe this one right here. All right, let's go. That middle one really doesn't want to go anywhere. Oh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Oh, did I get it? No, I don't think so. If anyone asks you, picking locks is very painful on the thumb when you're doing it this way. I honestly wish there was a tutorial so that we can actually know- Oh, nope. So we can know what the other ones are for. I'm just here really trying to get in there, but this ain't working. And my thumbs are killing me. These tutorials are terrible. What I mean is this one tutorial is terrible. It's not good enough. At the end of the same video, they show us how to get through this other one. And as you can see, they want us to use this one right here. And we basically just have to keep going in and out until something clicks and happens and then it opens. So basically, it's a matter of trying. Because even in the tutorial itself, there was an edit cut there, which means it took them longer than anticipated. Okay, so again, with the key. So this is locked. Let's turn it the other way. There. Okay, so this here locked. All right, so we have our mechanism in there and now we just basically have to just constantly go, oh, oh, they made it seem easier. Wow, what the heck? Okay, this is stupid. <laughs> I can't, how did they go in and out? Oh my God, oh my gosh, what the heck? I can't move this freely like they were doing unless I put no pressure on that. So I kid you grains not that I've been at this for the last 20 minutes and I still can't seem to get any of these to align. And we can see, again, let's see their video. Yeah, they keep doing cuts. And part of me thinks that they're actually already unlocking it and just pretending to go back and forth from here. If any of you have used locks to open these things, let me know if this is the correct one here. Because I feel like they were just doing this which is on the outside, <laughs> not on the inside. Cause, oh my God, if we look at the key, it does align. And they do specifically say to use this one. And even with this one, I'm still having a hard time getting them to align. Even if I go back and forth, what is this? My fingers are raw at this point, grades. Oh my God. You know, I'm glad this is not easy because then it would just be too convenient to unlock doors. <laughs> But holy carp, this is difficult. I think at least now I know that I can unlock my bike if ever that happens and I lose the key and I so happen to have these handy for some reason. Honestly, I think doing surgery is way easier than trying to pick locks. But let's go ahead and try and open a locker. The ones that most of us have used in school because I didn't get the stuff to go for no reason. <laughs> but let me boost my confidence just a little bit more. Let's try and open this one again. Thank you. 
I know how to pick this lock at least. The other ones, oh my god, I am in so much pain with my hand right now. I think I'm good now. I'm good. So before you grains come at me and say that this is not the technique, I've watched numerous videos of how to pick this lock and even a video by the art of manliness. For some reason, that's a manly technique that we're doing. And yes, the idea is still to keep going, as you can see him do, back and forth until we can feel it. So I think this is something you definitely have to have a lot more training in doing, even though I got like tattooing within the first day and surgery and piercing. I think this <laughs> So according to WikiHow videos, the best way to pick a lock with a bobby pin, basically we need two of them, so let's take these two, is we're going to make a 90 degree angle with one of the bobby pins, removing the tip and then bending it slightly, and then taking a full bobby pin and bending that one in its entirety at a 90 degree angle, also at a little bit of a tip. Well, that didn't work. What we learned is not all bobby pins are created equal, so I'm gonna have to use one side instead of two. All right, so now it's time to see if this method works or if you need an expensive kit because this bobby pin is definitely not the right size. Holy carp, not all bobby pins. Look at that. It will not go in. What if I went this way? Okay, so I have to make a bend on the other way. So let's try bending this back and then bending this up. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on, hang on, I got this. That is difficult. <laughs> This is so interesting. I didn't think a bobby pin made a difference. I thought they were standard, but I guess not. Okay, so far so good. We don't seem to be able to go further. Okay, here we're good. Up until here we're good. Okay, we got it. This is hard. <laughs> we're gonna get it. We ain't quitters. Well, we did quit on the other one. That's a whole other story. My fingers hurt, okay? <laughs> For any of you who have experience, please help. I feel like maybe this is not bent enough. Let's try it a little bit more bendy. Let me keep bending. So we're hitting a few roadblocks. The first one is, even though I tried the back side of the bobby pin, so here's one that I haven't bent yet, and you're supposed to technically bend it within the lock, it just won't fit in there. So there's no way for me to bend it. So quote unquote, better quality, even though this is from the dollar store, bobby pins are not gonna help you pick a lock. So even though I tried to make my own makeshift one, it's still too loose for me to actually turn the dial. So you would need to hammer in this spot to make it flatter technically. But I think for now, let's just go ahead and test the bobby pin itself. This one, the one I freshly bent. Let's put it all the way in. Oh, this is gonna work nice. There we go. Look at that. Oh, and it was the hard one too. Oh my God. Okay, let's try again. Bobby pin in, move it around, and all the way, we got this, yes. And there we go, look at that. So bobby pin definitely comes in handy, but we need something really thin. Let me try this here. So another bobby pin that I opened at nine degrees, let's put it down, and the other bobby pin. Okay, this is gonna be a little challenging. Okay, are we all the way in? No. Okay, I think I'm getting there. Yes! Oh no! Oh no, it wasn't strong enough! It just bent. I had a good grip. It just bent. Oh, I'm gonna try again. Oh my god. Alright, so I bent this one. Let's see if we can get away with it. Okay, let's... I think we're good. We're gonna get somewhere. Oh, this is really too loose. <laughs> it's too loose. <laughs> it's not giving me a good grip. Oh, this hurts. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is too loose. This isn't helping. All right, so lesson learned. I've ruined quite a few bobby pins. The type really matters. It has to be a super thin one, but even at that, I needed to use the actual tool here. So we're just gonna put this aside for now. And let's see if we can actually hear clicks from this kind of locker like they always do at those safes. Let's see if that's the thing. And we have the code for this lock, which is going to be 13, 20, and 2. Very easy. All right, I have my the flicko. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put it behind the lock. Okay, I hear nothing. Do I hear scratching when I turn it? Yes. Okay, let's go to 13. We have 13, nothing. Let's hear 20, nothing. And then 2. Yeah, nothing. That's a bunch of bull. Shrimp. Bull shrimp. I love shrimp. Hang on, let's try that again. 
Mind you, I can hear the mechanism on the inside. So again, let's go with 13. I'm gonna go very slow so that the scratching doesn't distract me. So let's go ahead, nothing, 20, nothing, and then two. No, I didn't hear any click or anything like that to indicate that the numbers we're at is actually the correct one. It's stethoscope probe, oh my god. Oh, so hard to say. Let me know what you grains think. This was by far really challenging. Part of me is annoyed that I couldn't do it, but the other part of me is like, I am so glad that this is not easy because I feel a lot safer now knowing that, hey, those other locks, these ones here, yeah, not as safe, but in order to open a door lock is way more difficult. So I can sleep better and you can sleep better knowing that someone like me can't open your door. <laughs> if you want to watch me try more weird things, make sure you check up here. I think the surgery one was the most recent one, so have fun with that. Or if you want to watch me do piercing or tattoo or any of that stuff, I've compiled a playlist for you. So make sure you check that out. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.